What's up guys, it's Rowan here from Art of Smart TV. And maybe you just got your trial results back and possibly really bombed it, like massively. Screwed up, you've got your marks back and you're looking at them. And right now you might be thinking, I'm fucked. Like I'm screwed, I've done really poorly. How on earth am I going to actually turn this around and maybe get some good marks? You know what, I'm just gonna quit. I'm gonna throw the towel in, I'm done and dusted. And what I wanna share with you in this video is actually why that could be the worst thing you do right now. In fact, why it's not true, you're not done and dusted, and in fact, there's plenty of opportunity still left on the table. And what I'm gonna share is what you need to do to turn things around. So let's jump in and find out why you're not screwed and how you can turn it around. So giving up right now is the worst thing that you can do. And I, I get why you might want to give up. You know, if you think about it, we're about 90% of the way through the HSC course in terms of time, right? There's a month or two left. Uh, if we look at it in terms of the, the, the total year, that's nothing. You're almost done. You've almost graduated year 12. But honestly, while it might feel that you're only 90% of the way through, if we actually look at your mark allocation, Everything you've done internally is only worth 50%. So what that means is your final HSC exams that are coming up around the corner, they're still worth a staggering 50%. Now, what this means, of course, is that yes, if you haven't done as well as you wanted internally, that's been worth 50%, and that will have an impact overall. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. If you've absolutely bombed school, it's going to impact your ATAR. But here's the thing, you've still got 50% of your marks on the table. That's half. So even though you're 90% of the way through in terms of time, you're only halfway through in terms of the marks that are still available. And so as a result, you've still got plenty of opportunity to actually improve your results and improve the, the end ATAR that you might receive at the end of the journey. Now, why is that important? Well, ultimately, you know, maybe you've had this goal of getting this ridiculously high ATAR and you're looking at it now and you're saying, no, you know, my dreams are shattered. But, but really, it's about options maximization. You know, there's so many different pathways that you could take, there's so many different degrees you could take to go to university. And what we've really got to do is shift mindset and go, okay, great, my internals are not great, okay. I'm gonna own that, put that to the side. I've now got a fresh opportunity here. If I can nail my external HSC exams, I've got a really good chance of at least lifting my ATAR and creating some more options for myself. All of a sudden, some other courses may become available to me, and so I've got a bigger range of opportunities at the end of year 12. Now, the alternative course is, is that you do throw the towel in. You go, I'm not gonna do anything. I've failed, I'm screwed, and of course, that's the end result. You will uh, do incredibly poorly and you'll also have a lot less options than you might if you actually shift mindset, get into gear and make the most of the 50% of the marks that are still on the table. So now's not the time to give up. It's the worst time to give up because you've still got so much more to fight for. So what can you do? So what should you be doing? Well, simply put, now is the time to fight. It is not the time to give up. So what you need to be doing is leaning in. Stop procrastinating. Turn YouTube off only after this video, right? Get out and actually get shit done. Now is the time that you've got to actually put a lot of work in. Yes, there's only one to two months. I know that's not a lot of time and that might be freaking you out, but one to two months on the flip side is a huge amount of time that you can actually get work done. So what you've got to start doing is number one, put a plan into place. What is the critical things that you need to do for each of your subjects that is going to make the difference over the next two months? Uh, get rid of all of the stuff in your life that is causing you to procrastinate and not do the work that you're needing to do. Now, couple of things here. Number one, we have a video on exactly what to do the 30 days before your HSC exams. Go and watch that video because it's gonna step you out on how to create a tangible plan of attack. Number two, if you're struggling with staying focused and actually getting work done, we've shot a video that explains exactly how you can stay focused and minimize the distraction and the procrastination that may be occurring that's what has got in the way of you doing your best work so far this year. 
Remember, now is the time to fight. It's not the time to give up. It's the time to get real and work hard for two months because the next two months are gonna change the results that you're gonna get and the options that you can create for yourself at the end of the journey. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Myself or our team from Art of Smart would love to help. And of course, if you haven't, hit subscribe. We do videos every single week, so we'll have more tips and tricks to help you turn things around between now and your HSC exams. I will see you next week.